Hello guys. Today we are talking about creating web to leads. Now, any business that has both a website and Salesforce can utilize a web to lead form to start generating leads within their Salesforce org directly from their website. Now, this is an extremely useful piece of functionality that everybody, if they're not already leveraging, should be. Now, if you're still manually creating leads or, for example, using spreadsheets to upload in bulk leads into your org, you should consider creating a web to lead form, embedding it on your website, and using that as a direct channel to input data into your Salesforce work. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna create that form, how we can edit that form, some different fixes we need to make to the code that's automatically generated, and then how we can embed that form in a website, for example. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first things first, as always, we log into Salesforce. Now I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna search for web to lead, and I'm gonna click on that link that shows up. Now I'm going to click on Generate Web to Lead Form. And from here, I can just select which fields I want to be on my form. And Salesforce will automatically generate it. So I don't really want city or state. I'm going to take those out. But I do want to include phone number. So I'm going to go ahead and look for phone number. And I'm going to add that in. Now I can rearrange these. And I can give it a return URL. So this is where it's going to go once the form is submitted. So I'll have that some random thank you page and then I'll try and generate it. Now, I didn't put in a CAPTCHA key, so I'm just gonna undo that and then I'll generate it. All right, so here is the form that Salesforce generated for me. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna put that into an HTML beautifier or a formatter. So I'm gonna open up just a website with a formatter, paste that in and format it. So that'll go ahead and indent the code for me automatically. And now I'm just gonna open up Atom, which is a text editor I use. And I'm going to make sure to tell Adam that this is HTML code, so it'll automatically highlight it for me. And I'll go ahead, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove those commented areas. All right, so here I've zoomed in a little bit, um, and I'm just going to make sure this is all valid HTML. So I'm going to add a doc type, I'm going to add a head and a body section, um, and within those I'm going to go ahead and add a title, and I'm going to link to a style sheet as well. Uh, so I'll just call this page my web to lead and then I'll go ahead and put in just a style sheet that I have uh, that I can use to make this look a little bit better. And then I'll go ahead and take the form that's down below and I'll just copy that into a container div. Um, so I'm just fast forwarding through this for the most part, uh, just doing some basic formatting. And then here what I'm going to do is I'm going to beautify the form because the form doesn't start out looking very good at all. Now depending on where you're putting this form um, on your website, you could already have a bunch of classes to utilize. I'm just doing this for the sake of making it a little bit more visible because in the next part, what we're going to do is we're going to test it. So I'm going to enter some information, uh, first name, last name, email, phone, and a company, and I'm going to submit that. Now, once I submit that, it's going to take me to that return URL. And if I go into Salesforce and refresh, what I can see is there's my lead. It was automatically generated as simply as that. And if I go into the lead, I can see that email address, I can see the phone number, I can see the name and the company, all the information I inputted. All right, so we've seen how we can generate that web to lead form, how we can edit it a little bit so that it meets our needs a little bit better, and then how we can embed it on our website. So hopefully this was useful to you guys. If it was, uh, consider subscribing, giving this video a like. In a future video, I'm gonna do a web to case form, which is really similar, but it allows your customers to log a support ticket rather than to become a lead within the Salesforce system. Uh, so look forward to that video. Look forward to hearing any feedback from you guys in the comments. Uh, and thanks for watching.